the uh, courses tab has two new sections inside of it, and that's quizzes and quiz questions. And so we separated these out so that we had a stronger framework for building out more robust quiz questions later on in the future. And it also allows you to create generic questions that you can add to multiple quizzes. So no question can only be assigned to one single quiz. You could use the same question in multiple quizzes. So when you're building out your quiz questions, it's very simple. You can give it a title, and the title's not ever going to be displayed to a user. So you could give it something like, um, I've got a Doctor Who course, so I can do Doctor Who quiz one, question one. And then inside of the text edit box, this is where you can do whatever you want for the question. So you can put in a, a really robust question with images and PDF downloads, anything you want to add. Or you can simply just put something like uh, a quick little question. There's a couple other features. So once you create your question, then you can select your answers, and you can just create the answers. So I will whip this question up really fast. I'll give it one more option. Points to anybody that knows the answer to this. Okay, and then the last thing you can do is select whichever is the correct answer. So what we're building here is a framework for really good quiz functionality. And it, it can expand beyond quizzes, and you could use it for surveys, or you could use it for really robust tests. And right now we're just doing the single answer questions, but what we plan on building out is a select box where, where you can select uh, different types of, of question types. So once you build out your question, you just publish it. And then that just exists. So when I go to my quizzes and I want to create a quiz, I've already got one here, I can go into my quiz, and there's a couple features in the quiz section. There is the number of allowed attempts. So if you leave this box blank or enter zero, it'll allow people to attempt as many times as you'd like, or you can set a number of attempts. So if you only want to allow them three attempts on this particular quiz. And then there's a passing percentage. So if you want to require them to get a certain percentage to continue, you can enter something in here. Or if it's just simply a survey or a, a fun quiz, you don't have to give any passing percentage. But then once you uh, do that, you can build out your quiz options. So when you build out your quiz, you simply just click Add a New Question. And then you can find those questions that you created. So there's my Doctor Who question that I created. And then you can assign the points to it. And that the points relate to the passing percentage. So if you heavily weight one question, it'll be weighed more on the percentage. And uh, you can quickly, like if I wanted to add one more question to this, I could just click the Edit button and go edit that. I can drag and drop them to restore them. And I didn't show you this on the question, but just like just with the quiz and the ants and the question, you can preview. So if once I create the quiz, then I can go through the entire quiz and make sure that it's exactly how I want. And that takes you through the whole quiz, and you can do it as many times as you want as administrator and see exactly what your users will experience. And same for the questions. You can preview those and make sure that they're formatted the way you want. The question is exactly how it should look. So let's say you want to assign a quiz at, to the very last lesson, at the end of that lesson, so somebody could not complete that lesson and either finish the course or achieve a certificate or something. To do that, I'm just going to go into our sample lesson here. This is actually our last lesson. And then at the very bottom here in the lesson options, this is the area where you assign the quiz and also where you can assign a passing grade for that quiz. And that would prevent somebody from completing the last lesson uh, unless they pass that quiz. Uh, and you can also set the number of temp attempts like we showed in the previous part of this video. And that's an introduction to quizzes in Lifter LMS.